you use your light therapy lamp for uh, some lighting. So the other day I was attempting to have a little brainstorm sesh, you know, as a YouTuber does, uh, to figure out what I wanted to film for my main channel, which horror ideas usually come pretty easily. I feel like there's a lot I haven't covered yet, but when you've been doing, you know, just a normal lifestyle channel for like 10 years, then you run out of ideas. So because I didn't know what to do, I decided to turn to Instagram, again, like a YouTuber does, and I had asked you guys like a month ago what you wanted to see me do on this channel. and. A lot of great ideas but they all take like a long time to do right like a couple days or the other thing is that the ideas were good but they wouldn't take up a whole video you know we're gonna do a day in my life of just filming a video for you guys also it is winter hence the title that's another thing that makes filming very very hard is of course the seasonal depression that I get every year I went all November without feeling bad which was great uh and then december hit and it just came on full force and i feel like it's because we had really beautiful weather all of november and then december although today the sun's out in the morning maybe i should go for a walk i use my light therapy lamp uh for i did use it the past two days for 45 minutes because i'm really needing a pick me up and uh, today it's just for 30 because there's other stuff i need to do today i get a lot of questions about the lamp that i use so i'll link it down below one of the ideas that you guys always always suggest is get ready with me so we're starting off the video first with a quick little get ready with me this is my go-to makeup i normally wouldn't wear makeup on a day like today but I figured since that's one of the ideas that you guys want to see more of even though I just did a video on my last video on the beauty industry and how I don't feel like necessarily welcome in the beauty community um, I'm not trying to be that I'm just showing you what I do with my face as someone who used to be into makeup and now is not so much into makeup still appreciates it still likes how I look with it um, but it's just more of a rarity these days that I wear it. I do really like this e.l.f. powder by the way. It's the finishing powder in Fair Light. Um, obviously I've been using it up. I really really enjoy it. And now for the number one question that I get is what brow product do I use with my hair? Because it always matches which it doesn't necessarily match perfectly but in pictures it looks like it does. I still do the same exact method that I have for years since I've had my hair orange. Anastasia Brow Powder in Auburn, which is a reddish shade. It's very, very dark. You wouldn't think that that would turn out orange, but it does. I just use the lightest shade, obviously. Another product that I really love is the Brow Lux pencil. If I feel like putting in a little bit more work, this is amazing for redheads. It's in the shade Nutmeg. a video yesterday that was a huge struggle you will see that in a couple days um, it will be my next video it's just sponsored so I have to submit it and everything but oh my gosh guys it was rough it was rough I was so mad I was in such a bad mood yesterday after that video because it just felt so pointless so I hope you like it part of it was that I've been dealing with like a strained muscle in my chest and in that video it was like really painful and it was just like constant because i didn't take any ibuprofen before we left so i was just like constantly in pain the weather was bad the video wasn't going well i was failing at it and it was just i spend hardly any time in my brows anymore like that's it that's good enough for me that's what i'm going to leave it as so this is my eye routine you just put powder all over the lid that's how I prime them. I don't even do primer, which I should because I have hooded eyelids, so it's kind of difficult. And then I take a angled brush. I've done this in videos in the past, so it's really nothing that fancy. And then I go into this shade in this Urban Decay Born to Run palette. I really like this palette. Um, but I take the shade Punk. It's just a reddish brown. You can literally take any reddish brown. I'm sure you have one. Um, that's just my favorite eyeliner shade. <laughs> so then I just start halfway like where my pupil is that's where the liner will start and then i just bring it out make a little wing and then because i have hooded eyelids i bring it up into my crease kind of like that and then it looks 
stupid like that, but then I fill it in. And that's kind of been my go-to eyeliner look that I wear in all of my videos. And then I'll do mascara on just the top lashes. Some would say I've gotten worse at makeup over the years of not caring so much about it, but I'd say I've become more just efficient in my makeup process and just don't care to make it perfect. Yep, that's my messy look and then just pop these back on and I'm ready for the day. I've literally not unpacked since I went to Colorado six months ago. I've just been living out of this makeup bag. That tells you how much I really need everything in my collection, right? So as far as the rest of the day, we're gonna be doing some fun things. You want cat content, you got it. You got home organization, you got it. Boyfriend content, maybe. <laughs> Cooking, we're doing a recipe at the end of the video for what I make for dinner, which I'm very excited about. So we're doing it all today. Uh, hopefully you enjoy. Hopefully you like these kind of videos, kind of day in my life. I am doing specific things because you suggested them, but if you want also like, this is pretty much a day in my life too. It's like stuff I would actually do during the day, so it's relevant. But if you would like more of these, please let me know in the comments. Go on a walk. You want to lose some weight on a walk? Get your leash and harness. What's that? You go outside. Okay. Yeah, I'm going outside. Good boy. Oh, it's a little tight. <laughs> have asked me how I get him to be leash trained and I didn't do anything I just put a leash on him and brought him outside because he loves to be outside so I wanted to see if I could walk him and he doesn't walk like a dog by any means but he is pretty good on a leash I mean he has been startled before and tried to run but generally he does okay I just let him wander in the grass So our bedroom has been looking very, very rough lately, and I'm not going to show you much of it, but we did hang a shelf. Uh, you know, obviously the bedroom got really crowded once we got rid of my storage unit and brought in the couch in here, which is right there covered in clothes, which I knew it would become a clothing couch. But look at the shelf we hung. I'm really happy with it. I think it makes the couch look a little bit more intentional over there. We still have this giant blank wall um, over our bed, but... I don't really know what to put there. Maybe art, like a collage or something like that. But I really love how the shelf looks and we just put the pictures of us on there. I just thought I'd give you like a little bit of an apartment update even though it's not that much. Obviously the living room is kind of a disaster zone right now because I'm trying to transition the Halloween decor into Christmas decor, which I'm filming all of that. So it's just been a process. So, but stay tuned because that video is coming this month in December, obviously. I literally filmed an entire clip in this bathroom already and didn't hit record. So I've just been talking to the camera for no reason. Anyway, we are in the bathroom. Uh, this is my favorite room in our apartment. I just think the decor and everything is really cute. I'm really proud of everything in here. I love being in here. But this blank wall space, I want to put something up there. So I just thought, let's do it in today's video, right? We're doing some apartment things. So the two prints... I want to hang up here are the skull looking thing and then this print which is a woman dancing with a skeleton so we're doing a little bit of like edgier art in here I just want it to feel 
more like me, so we need some skulls in here. I'm gonna hang them kind of like staggered, like one, two, I think. We've put a lot of holes in this apartment, but we're gonna be here for at least three years total because we're renewing our lease this month. So we'll, that'll be our third time, which is nuts. I can't believe we've already lived together for two years. Like, mind-blowing. <laughs> we're very happy here. We love our apartment and we decided to live a little and put holes in the wall. That's what the deposit's for, right? <laughs> just looks so cool love that and then I want to move these bottles up here fill that space these jars back over here and there we go that looks really good love that I feel like it's really rare that I order anything online. So I'm gonna show you what I did order because I really, really wanted this thing. I ordered one extra thing, which I probably shouldn't have, but it's from the company Parks Project because I love me a national park. You know, my goal is to visit at least 50 of them. And I only say 50 because I just don't think in my lifetime it's reasonable to expect to go to all of them, um, which is okay. I've, I've already gone to three, but three by 30 is not the pace I, I need to be at to visit 50 of them. So I bought a poster and I just thought this would be a really, really cute way to keep track of what national parks I have visited and where I need to go. I'll let you see it first. There we are. Oh my God, it's so cute. And then the other thing that I got, I'm very excited about. I love me a good mug. So I had to get one of their mugs. It is just so, so cute. Look at that. It's like an enamel mug. So it's like the metal. It's so cute. Okay. And then in 2020, I will be going to Lassen and Pinnacle, so I'll be able to cross those off. So that's my mini national park haul. I don't even know what this video is. I'm, I, I'm sorry. So the next thing we're gonna do is some cleaning content. So as you can see, our living room is kind of a disaster right now. Uh, cat toys everywhere, some garbage. Uh, my Halloween decor is still here. I'm not sure if I'm gonna take care of that today, but I don't know where to put that. I don't have space for it. Um, but yeah, so this is kind of the before. Before the sun goes down, I wanted to film a little bit of cleaning content for you guys, so let's get to cleaning.
so it needs a good, I'm kind of out of breath because I was doing that kind of fast. Um, it needs a good vacuum, but Ryan's taking a nap right now, so I'm not going to do that to him. At least I swept the entryway that really needed to get done. Okay, guys, it's not quite dinner time, but we're going to start cooking now. I'll probably edit this later, but uh, for a couple reasons. One, the lighting is great. Um, two, this is just the perfect time to do this, and I can do this ahead of time for dinner later. So today we're going to be making cheese, black bean, maybe some veggie enchiladas. So I don't make enchiladas that often and I actually don't have any sauce. And I was gonna go to the store to purchase some enchilada sauce, but then I decided I'm gonna make my own. I looked up some recipes and I actually have all the ingredients needed to make my own enchilada sauce. So if we're gonna experiment, I love cooking and that's one of the most common video requests that I get asked for all the time is cooking videos. You guys love it, even though I don't have like an aesthetic YouTube or kitchen. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I hardly do these kind of videos, day in the life and cooking videos, but you don't care. We're just here chilling in my average kitchen. <laughs> So I think this is everything that I'm going to need. I'm combining two different recipes because one did not have tomato paste, but I kind of want to use it. So I'm just going to kind of wing it with cooking. It's not really a you know hard science or anything. So I'm just going to wing it. Thickening up nicely. I think I want to go in for a little sample. It's not quite ready yet, but I just want to see if the flavors are good because I've never done this before. Definitely needs more salt. And dare I say more chili powder. When I looked up a recipe, there was one that said four tablespoons and that just seemed like a lot. So I didn't do that much, but I do like spicy. So I feel like this could definitely use more of that. I'd say it's pretty good. I'm excited to taste it with like melted cheese. I feel like that is just going to be so good. I'm actually really proud of this. I think it turned out okay. I don't know what the apple cider vinegar was supposed to be for because I'm not adding that. I'm sorry. Now it is time to assemble. So in my filling, I have uh, Monterey Jack cheese, cream cheese, black beans, uh, lime juice. I put in a corn mixture. It's like a Southwest mixed, like frozen blend. I'm not really sure, never tried it. So I'm gonna start with a little layer of our enchilada sauce. And then I've warmed up the tortillas so they're easier to roll. Now I'm just going to pour the rest of the enchilada sauce right on top. And then of course we gotta top it with extra cheese. Can we just take a minute to appreciate the beauty of enchiladas? Yeah, you know what I have in my hand. Mm -hmm. I haven't even said it yet. You want dinner? I thought while well, dinner is cooling, I would give the cats their own little dinner. I do this maybe a couple times a week, 
not that often uh, not every day like I used to because Pepe needs to lose weight so but I split a small can between them and then I once tried to explain how I add water to my cat's food uh, because a lot of cats are actually dehydrated because they prefer to get their water from their food source and I tried to explain that in a vlog once and I was like you guys don't care and then so many of you guys cared so that's the explanation of why I add water to my cat's food. Also giving them dinner is like the only time you're gonna see Skimble because she's the scaredy cat. She hides a lot so but she always comes out for dinner huh? You love dinner. You ready? This time to taste it. Honestly, I'm really happy with that. It tastes so good, babe. Wow, the heat in it, so perfect. Well, that's got a kick. It's kind of spicy. <laughs> So it's about 9.30 p.m. and I think I'm gonna call it a night here and just uh, watch Australia's Next Top Model because I've been back into that. <laughs> Thank you for coming along on my day in the life. Let me know if you like these kind of videos because they're really easy to film for me and I'm just kind of showing you my life. I know I don't live like the extravagant YouTuber lifestyle that so many do here and like put out there, but I'm just a normal human uh, living my normal life. And I feel like that can definitely be more normalized on this uh, platform because I feel like a lot of people, including myself, feel the pressure to constantly have like an aesthetic, you know, in the background and just in everything that they do. I think there just should be some, you know, more people showing the day-to-day -day stuff that isn't necessarily overly exciting, which that's great to watch too if you're into that. But this was a pretty accurate peek into my day-to-day -day life. <laughs> anyway, I know this isn't my normal kind of content for this channel. It's pretty normal for my vlog channel, but I don't really post over there or have in months so I thought you know let's do kind of a vloggy style video over here um, a lot of you guys request vlogs as well so that's the the last idea that comes from you guys anyway I hope you guys enjoyed and let me know your thoughts down in the comments let's all chat down there and I will talk to you soon bye